What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be comparing the all new Rotogrip Magic Gem to the 900 Global Reality, which is arguably the best asymmetrical bowling ball, in my opinion, that we have. So why are we doing this comparison? One of them is a hybrid, one of them is a solid. Well, like I've been saying a lot that this Magic Gem rolls way more like a solid than it does like a typical hybrid or especially a typical pearl. Rolls much more like a solid. So because of that, I want to compare it to, in my opinion, the best asymmetri asymmetrical solid that we have. And if you guys know, if you guys have been following me, you know that how much I've been throwing this magic gem since I first got it. So guys, hit that subscribe button because if you don't, your favorite bowling ball might just crack, but if you subscribe, it will not crack. No, I'm just kidding, but please subscribe. Let me know in the comments, do you guys have a Magic Gem? Are you considering getting it? Do you have a reality? It's been out for a few years and it's still, like I said, the GOAT. We're gonna be here at Samsung on lane 21. Not on lane one and two because there's some event going on down there. So on lane 21 on a fresh, typical house shot. All right, first shot of the video, we're gonna start on the Magic Gem. We're gonna start a little straighter than normal. Uh, here on the middle of the house, doesn't hook as much as the low end of the house. Yeah, down there I have to be like 10 left of that. That's a good shot to start. All right, Magic Gem again, same spot. That last shot was very, very good. Here's to repeating that here. There we go. All right, now we're gonna get into the same spot with the reality. All right, so this is gonna be the reality from the same spot. Let's see what kind of differences we can see. You see, this is the crazy thing about bowling. I feel like the reality actually shaped more down lane than the Magic Gem, even though it's a solid and not a hybrid. So that was a, that was a perfect demonstration of solid, hybrid, pearl, whatever. Doesn't mean anything. How does the ball roll? All right, no comment on that eight pin. That was disgusting. We're through one more shot with the reality and we'll get back into the magic gem. There we go. All right, we're gonna get back into the magic gem. The lanes are still really fresh, so we're not gonna be moving a whole lot to start here. Oh, that's a terrible shot. And we get it anyway. Let's throw a better shot from there. All right, that swing got a little high, caused all that nastiness in the back. Let's make a better shot. Keep that swing low. Make a good one here. Yeah, the Magic Gem feels so much smoother than that reality. All right, one more shot with the Magic Gem here, then we'll talk about when I can see myself using either one of these balls. Oh, there we go. So the biggest differences I'm seeing is the shape differences. Strength-wise, they're very, very similar. So I'm gonna use each of these balls on the fresh exclusively. Just if I need a little bit more pop down lane on the fresh, I'm gonna go to the reality. If I need something a little bit more smooth, I'm gonna go to the Magic Gem. I'm gonna move in a little bit just to see, because if I was bowling for score, I would stay a little bit further right. This is gonna be the reality from like four left from where we've been. See if that gets there. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw the Magic Gem from that same spot, and then we're gonna move back right. All right, same spot that I just 2 8 10 with the Reality, but with the Magic Gem. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think the Magic Gem is actually gonna end up being stronger, especially when I move left. Wow. We're gonna move a few right with the reality. This would still be left of where we started with the reality though. Huh, that might've been a really bad shot. Let's, let's throw another one from there. All right, let's make a better shot here. Same, same spot, reality. Make a better shot. There's no way that should have missed like that.
Wow. I can't believe it's that much weaker. All right, so this is gonna be just right back to where I started in the reality. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good spot to put that ball in. All right, last shot of the video here. We're gonna finish strong here in the Magic Gym. We'll get to a little outro, talk about everything that we saw here. Oh, we can't leave on a wrap 10. We're gonna throw one more. All right, no way I'm leaving on a wrap 10 like that. So I'm gonna move two and one left with the Magic Gem and go absolutely 10 back. There we go. All right, so now we're all done comparing the Magic Gem and the reality. And to be honest, I was very surprised by what I saw from the results of this comparison. At the beginning when we were playing like kind of straight, I was standing about 22 with each of the balls. They were both striking from there. They were both looking really, really good. And then I thought that the strength levels were gonna be virtually identical from what I saw the first like five or six shots. Then when I moved in, the Magic Gem just allowed me to continue to chase it left where the reality really struggled, which is honestly very surprising because typically, the reality is that ball that I go to, that asymmetric solid when I need to create that shape. But from what I saw just based on today's video, it seemed like the Magic Gem was the more versatile one of the two, allowed me to play straight, allowed me to move a little bit further in and bend it a little bit more. But I think if I was bowling for score, I'd really have to take a look at that reality. And the reason I say that is because I can stay straighter longer, it felt like. But guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Please continue to subscribe to the channel. Don't want your bowling balls to crack. Easy way to prevent that, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.